Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Hope you're fine. As you can see, I got a better camera now. Well, it's my dad's cell phone. But, uh, or smartphone rather. <laughs> it's half as old as my camera, but the quality is a lot better. Yeah, um, hello to everyone on Rumble. My name is Anya. Sorry I didn't introduce myself in the last video. I was a bit of a mess there. I'm doing a bit better. Still not nowhere close to where I want to be, but I'm, you know, small steps, baby steps. What was that film with Bill Murray where he drives uh, Richard Dreyfuss? family crazy so what about Bob whatever it's called I always think about that <laughs> baby steps <laughs> um great now I'm all confused again I had everything s sorted out so nicely in my head been going over everything that I wanted to say while I came here as you can see I'm out in the woods again out in beautiful nature breathing in that good ass prana <laughs> yeah no that's not my intro I haven't watched what's his name Ralph Smart in quite a while, but that always kind of stuck to my stuck in my head, not to my head. Got a lot of sweat sticking to my head. <laughs> it's a warm day. It's sunny and cloudy. It's nice. Uh, you can hear the crickets probably. They're loud. Just saw a squirrel over there. Yeah. So. Best things, but best things, best news first, I'm back to the gym. Actually, the last video that I recorded, uh, that week, or prior to that video, I had gone to the gym for the first time again after three years. And I'll get the, uh, my, oh, God, okay, never mind. <laughs> There's no muscle yet to show off. But just, uh, get back, you know, back on my workout. Back on my regiment. I'm back on my workout. Back on my regiment. Back on my weight gain. Back on my discipline. Back to the gym again. Back on my vitamins. Back on my training. Feeling stronger than I ever been. I'm um, yeah, I went, I started going twice. And then last time was the first day I went, uh, the first day, the first week I went three times. And uh, it feels so good. It just feels so damn good. God, you know, oh, I, I'm jumping ahead now, and uh, well, I'm going at a different time now than I used to. I used to go around uh, 2, 3 in the afternoon, now I go around 6, 7 p.m., and uh, I, uh, well, there's nobody there, really, that I used to know, because different time, but I met my old gym friend, I've known him for 10 years now. We, I met him, I, you know, me. I always, I met him in my old gym, right, he was the owner's brother, that, well, my old gym, that closed down, unfortunately, I, God, I loved that gym, and all the people there, but never mind, so I met him, and uh, him and I have always been talking a lot, there was usually an, a third guy, and we would talk, ooh, conspiracy theories, <laughs> I miss that so much, but I'm so glad I met him, and we had some talks, and God, it helped so much. You know what pisses me off the most? Remember I told you I didn't go to the gym because, you know, COVID and masks and um, the stupid mandatory jabs you couldn't get into anywhere without the jabs. Well, guess what? The owner of my current gym, he didn't give a fuck. So I could have gone to the gym perfectly for the last three years, except those weeks where he had to close down because of the lockdown. Oh God, the sun is right in my eyes. I can't see a damn thing. But yeah, oh well, never mind. At least I know that when the government rolls out the 500,000 pandemics that it's got in store for us, I know I can always go back to my gym. That's a good feeling. 
And see, the thing is, I have been to one of, I was at one of those protests, one of the first protests where masks weren't mandatory yet, so I could still take public transportation. I was at one of those protests against the lockdowns and everything, and I could have sworn I saw the owner of my gym. He was pretty far away, so I wasn't sure. But, you know, the his body, his shape, it looked like him. And I'm like, is that him? And stupid me if I would have just gone to the gym to find out whether they want jabs or not. Yeah, well, you're always smarter in hindsight, aren't you? Oh, God, the sun is blinding me. <laughs> How was I able to record my last video here? I guess there was no sun, huh? Oh, I see myself double because I see myself in the recording and I see myself in the reflection and that's a whole lot larger. Yeah, but no, I'm starting to feel better body-wise again. I'm, I'm really sore today. My, or rather, my legs are. The last time I was here, my whole body was sore because, I, as I said, I had just gone back once. And then yesterday I started uh, with this new um, this this new leg press because the one I usually use is broken. They're waiting for a spare part and it's been out of order for two or three weeks. So I figured, all right, well I might just as well try a different one. And holy shit, <laughs> my butt cheeks and my thighs are in a lot of pain. <laughs> But God, that's that's the only pain I love. The sore muscles after working out. I have a lot of pain in my body. But if it's from working out, I love it. You know, when every movement hurts, it's like, I know I did that. And I did it for a good reason and a good purpose. And it just makes, I, it makes me feel better and, and it'll make me stronger, right? <sighs> Yeah, so whenever I'm at the gym, I'm I'm in a better mood. Sometimes a really good mood. I've started crying at the gym, but oh well. I can always blame it on my pain, right? If anyone ever asks, I can always say I'm in a lot of pain. And I I don't know. I did. I, I think I did tell you about my issues sometime, didn't I? That I have SIBO, you know, small intestinal, small no wait, small intestine bacterial overgrowth there that's what it's called I've had it for 14 years and I just can't handle any food it gives me uh, well I hate talking about it because it's such a you know such a TMI topic and such a disgusting topic but I get extreme bloating in my small intestine and uh, extreme constipation I don't want to look at you while I say that and uh, the bloating, well, I cannot pass gas because it's in my small intestine. So there's just a lot of pressure on my insides. And it's just, sometimes I remember when I did the videos where I said, I i can't breathe today because the pressure is so bad. It, the my, my intestine, it presses up on my diaphragm and I, I can't breathe. I just, my lungs can't expand. I can't see myself. I don't even know if I'm still on on camera. I just see my reflection and it's cut off over here. I'm not, I'm not feeling comfortable talking about it, but I just want to get it out because it's, 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 been, it's, such, it's always, it's been such a big part of my life these last years and it's what made me go, go to the gym, right? That and being depressed. And uh, 10 years ago I decided I have to change something. So I started going to the gym and that's the best thing ever that happened in my life. I wish I would have gone to the gym 30 years ago, but, well, better late than never, right? I've read about people on the internet who started working out when they were 60 or 70, so it's, it's never too fucking late to go to the gym. And yeah, if I could, I would go every single day, but I think then my body would probably break down because I, I, I still can't sleep. My insomnia is so bad. These last night, the other night I didn't sleep, and then the next night I thought, all right, I can sleep now. It took me five and a half hours to fall asleep, five and a half fucking hours, and then I only slept for five and a half hours or six hours, 
and that was, yeah, that was the day, Thursday to yesterday. Yesterday's Friday, today's Saturday, the, I think, 22nd of July. So yesterday I was at the gym again. I was up until 8 this morning. I went to bed, and it only took me two hours to fall asleep. I was completely exhausted, but hey, who cares? And today I also, I only slept like five hours or something like that, and... Yeah, but I started tackling SIBO again. A couple of weeks ago, YouTube suggested this one video to me about apple cider vinegar. I've been using apple cider vinegar for years now because I like it. And um, it said to uh, put a tablespoon, well, start with a teaspoon and, you know, up it to a tablespoon of vinegar. Put it in a glass, fill it with water, drink it about 20 minutes before you eat. I figured it, dude, I have nothing to lose. I've tried so many things. Let me try that. Who cares? And holy shit, it's actually helping a bit. It's reduced the bloating. And it's, wow, you know, my stomach, well, I have been eating less and less lately as well. So my, yesterday my stomach was so flat. Because, you know, in comparison to, to other times, and I could breathe really good, although the pressure inside my intestines is still there. It, it, went, it surely did go down a bit. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, like two maybe, I also started eating raw garlic again. I haven't eaten garlic in years because I couldn't handle it. I bloated so bad from it. I bloated, is that a son? I got, well, never mind, you know what I mean. But the thing is, I always use it cooked. So, uh, I'm into, I'm in, I'm kind of in rage mode, you know, fight mode. I, I'll try anything if it kills me. I don't care anymore. I don't care about it so much anymore. So, uh, whenever I eat now, I, uh, pour tons of garlic, raw garlic on it. And after that, I burp garlic for hours. It's disgusting. <laughs> but it helps as well. And uh, so last week, I started... Uh, no, I didn't start. I got oil of oregano. Is that what it's called? Because I had used that before as well. I have tried tons of herbs and shit. And they always help just a little. But I never really combined them. I bought Allison, you know, the garlic extract. It's fucking expensive. I used that, I don't know how many years ago, but I spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of euros on that shit. And uh, it never really, well, it did kind of work, but not enough. But as I said, I never combined everything. So now I'm, yesterday I started with the, the oregano oil and a whole lot of garlic. And oh God, I, because I, I burp all the time. It's, there's so much gas in, in my intestines and my stomach and it just, I burp a lot, and now it's oregano and garlic, and I'm surprised I survived the night, because, you know, the smell, and it's very disgusting. I'm sorry I'm talking about this, that's why I mean, I don't like talking about my issues, but I know there's other people out there, there's tons of people with, with intestinal issues and shit, so I'm going to try this. As I said, the garlic and the apple cider vinegar have already helped make it better. Just try it. You have nothing to lose except a little money because that shit is not as expensive as all the herb, herb, herbal extracts that, that you can buy for a lot of money. And everything grows in nature, right? You don't have to buy that stuff. There's a cure for everything. I once saw this in a documentary years ago. There's a cure for every poison that nature has. Well, there's, there's, a, wait, there's a cure for every poison in nature, oh, well, never mind, except aluminum, or aluminium, aluminium, in Germany we, we call it aluminium, I never understood why, why Americans say aluminum, mm. oh, I'm getting totally off track, and I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous about talking freely, yeah, but I'm, as I said, I'm doing better, I'm so in love with my gym. I could go on talking about that for the next five hours, but that'd probably be boring. 
for you, unless you're a freak <laughs> and just love going to the gym and love working out. It's a small gym, and it, it's full pretty quickly, you know, if there's 20 people there, it's full. And then I feel really awkward, because uh, I've always felt awkward around people, but I've, I I'd still kind of feel like at home at the same time. And I love to see people work out. It's just, yes, you know, there's people do something for your body, for your health. Your body will thank you. Maybe not now. Maybe not the day when you're fucking sore and you can hardly move and your muscles hurt and you feel like you're 80 years old. But once you're 80 years old, you'll notice a difference. I mean, well, you'll never know. You'll never know the problems you're not getting, right, because you work out. <laughs> So maybe you won't know, but whatever. Uh, and what's also interesting, I met my first trans person at the gym. And uh, that was, we, we talked for half an hour. You know, we were the last ones there. And uh, I was still in the dressing room getting, you know, dressed and I was just done. And I just wanted to go out, and there was the uh, the the gym employee. He was like, "Yo, we're closing up." I'm like, "All right, sorry, it's, you know, just have to go to the bathroom one last time because I always drink so much, and then when I walk home, I always have to pee like hell." And uh, yeah, and there was this other person standing with the employee. They were talking, and it was visibly masculine. And yeah, well, we left together, and then we two got talking about the weather. The weather is always a perfect topic to talk about in Germany. Apparently, nobody on the, in the world complains or talks as much about the weather as Germans do. But I find it a perfect topic to, you know, start small talk. If you're, if you're a shy person or awkward person, you don't know what to talk about like like I am, right? I never know what to talk about with people, so I start talking about the weather. And that's always, I mean, it does kind of depend on the other person. If the other person is not much of a talker, you'll say like, ooh, it's a hot day, and he'll, he or she will say like, yeah, and that's it. But um, that person I met, she was not uh, like that. She, I, I, I said something about the weather and she's like, oh yes, and I live up under the roof and it's really hot there. And I'm like, oh yeah, I do too. And there you go. And then for half an hour we talked and we got into the depressions quickly. Oh God, what was that? And then she told me her whole story and uh, I was kind of scared in the beginning, like, oh God, because, <laughs> you know, the internet, all the crazy TikTok trans wannabe or TikTok wannabe trans people. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube here. I know they're really sensitive on the topic. But it's like, I I have no problems with LGBT. Right? And I make a cut there. I have no problems with these people. They're normal people. And, uh, well, she that I met, she also told me she has a, what is it, trans identity disorder. She knows she's not a woman, but she feels very feminine, and she told me a lot of stuff, and I really appreciated that because it made me learn more, and it made me understand more, because, you know me, I always want to know everything and understand everything. There's a little gnat or something, and I found it really interesting. So, yeah, we talked for half an hour, and I like her, and whenever I meet her, I, we, we, I say hi, we talk a couple of minutes. Yeah, no problem there. Cause another thing she told me that she she just wants to be left alone. And I'm like, yeah, like everyone, like everyone, right? And she's like, exactly. And yeah, she's she's normal, not like these other weird, weird messed up kids who one day identify as a man, the next day they're a woman, and they're a tree, and they're a unicorn, and they're a rhinoceros, and they're some weird space alien. Like, kids, I, I can understand where you're coming from, but you're not trans. There's a different, you know, there's a different problem that needs to be tackled there identity-wise. 
And trust me, I know how hard it is having an identity, finding your identity when you're traumatized. My my trauma was my identity for a whole lot of long time in my life. I was a uh, you know depressions were my identity for a whole long time in my life until I realized that that's bullshit. There is no I mean depressions are not an illness. It's a symptom, right? And uh, I totally agree with Andrew Tate here, by the way, when he said. What does he say? There are no depressions, or dep no depressions aren't real. And yeah, it's not an illness; it's a symptom, either a symptom of trauma, PTSD, some disorder, psychological disorder from your childhood, early days, or something happened to you, whatever. Then, of course, if you don't tackle that, of course you get depressed. Or if your life sucks, right? My life, you saw me, you saw me. If you've been following me or watching my videos for the last three years, you saw me go down because my life changed in so many ways. That was just horrible, all the poof shit. Yeah, before I said the COVID, uh, now I said it. <laughs> right? And the lockdowns and the masks and I could, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, <laughs> couldn't do anything anymore, couldn't go out. I lost my friends because they believed that bullshit and I didn't and yeah what was I getting at god I'm so all over the place this is not how I had intended this video to go and if you're wondering why I mentioned Andrew Tate I, I uh, I started watching some of his videos in December of last year because I was curious. He was all over the place. And that was like the second week of December. So, uh, and I had gotten some interviews suggested to me on YouTube. So I decided, all right, let's just give it a try and watch this dude. I mean, he was deleted everywhere. And I figured he, so he was talking some, uh, true shit probably because that's what they always do to people who tell the truth they delete them and yeah he's uh, pretty based I think that's how people say it nowadays based <laughs> um, I don't agree with everything he says I don't like the cam biz shit he does I'm not into that kind of stuff I don't understand why women would prostitute themselves like that but heck it's you know it's your life, if you can live with it, handle it, do your stuff. I know I could, I thought about it. Dude, I've been, I need money, desperately. I've thought about a whole lot of shit. But, no, no, I'd rather live somewhere out under a bridge on the street before I, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't. Yeah, but apart from that, the things he says about life and men and women and living, there's a lot of truth in what he's saying and I like him. If I could find a man who was just half, half like him, I would marry him. But it's hard to find men nowadays. It's tough being a man, I realize that too. I mean, ever since my dad left or, you know, went to the nursing home, had to go to the nursing home, I kind of had to take over his part, doing shit for my mom. And since he, my dad died, my mom's been clinging to me like, like a fly does to shit. Huh, sounds so mean. I don't want to talk mean stuff about my mom, but uh, that's a whole other topic, just... <sighs> I still don't know how to handle her except flee, flee to the gym, flee here, talk to you guys. Yeah, well, yeah, no, wait, oh god, I was in Dece December, right, so I started listening to Andrew Tate and then one week later my dad died and I listened all the more to Andrew Tate because he was helping me with his things, right, he was helping me to stay strong, which I didn't. 
I mean, I stayed strong the first couple of days where I kind of had to support my mom, but then I just broke down as well, and, uh, yeah, never mind, that's a whole different topic, but he was arrested then, and, and it's so crazy. But yeah, I just, I recently watched the, the new interviews, the one, uh, what are they called, PBDS or something, and uh, the one with Tucker. I haven't finished both of them yet, because they're so extremely long, and I just still can't focus on much for a long time, although it is getting better again. I started meditating again in uh, end of May. I kind of had a little Beltane celebration for myself on April 30th and uh, started meditating again with that and, you know, kind of finding back to my spirituality. Well, no, I did that last year, just going deeper into the work again, the shadow work. I fucking hate shadow work, but it's so effective. And yet, I cannot sleep. <laughs> I had I had one good week three weeks ago, and each night I went to bed, it took me like 30 minutes to an hour, and I just fall, fell asleep. And I thought, all right, I'm getting better, and then now look. <laughs> the last two weeks, it just got worse and worse, and these last couple of days, I'm thinking about giving up on sleep, like, why should I ever go to sleep again if I can't fall asleep? See, if my, if my gym was open 24 hours, I would probably go there at night sometime, but as I said, it's small, so they, uh, they, they're they open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., which is okay. Oh, there's a bird. Oh, well, it's gone. <laughs> It was a big bird, so I don't know, maybe a hawk or something. Um, you should see me sitting here. It's so uncomfortable because if I sit up straight, oh well, I'm still, I'm still in the picture, but I don't know if you can hear me. And my legs are, my my feet are turned inside like this, so I don't slip off the bench because I'm too, well, not too small for it, but kinda, I don't know. <sighs> All right, 27 minutes, and this is not half as structured as I had planned it. Let me see, where's my notes? I, I took, I wrote down, I took some notes so I would, uh-huh, 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 yeah, I kind of, wait, I can't, yeah. I still wanted to talk a lot more about Andrew Tate, but I forgot everything I wanted to say in, of co in the last week, and uh, of course I didn't write it down. But that that in the interview with with Tucker is uh, really good. Hmm. I thought, yeah, I, I originally thought whether I should react to it, but it's so long. I mean, it, it would have probably gotten me a couple of clicks, <laughs> but I don't know, it's so long. I just heard steps. Most of the time I'm alone when I'm here. There was this one time I was standing downstairs, well, out, outside the little perch thingy, and I was just standing there and had my face turned to the sun and was breathing. And then I hear steps and then this, this lady walks by and whoop, I jumped because <laughs> I had not expected another person to be here. And she was looking at me like, hello, <laughs> and just went past. And this other time a, a dog came running and I was also standing down there and he came he just charged through all the bushes and uh, was barking like crazy I'm like oh my god <laughs> is he gonna attack me 
but then somebody whistled and the dog turned around and ran off again. Haven't seen a deer yet. Can I turn? No, I can't turn the camera around while I'm recording, okay. Otherwise I would have shown you how it looks here, but I guess I'll do, I'll record that afterwards and then maybe cut it in. Oh, guys, I forgot to record the, the area when I was still up in the little perch, which is here. So I'll just quickly show you like this. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, no deer this time. Is the, is the picture a little fuzzy or does it just look fuzzy? Is the, is it from the sun? Or is there some gunk on the camera? I can't tell. <laughs> but oh well, if it is, I'll clean it. And who cares? I mean, at least the picture is better than the last time, right? Maybe it's because of the, the sun? No? Hmm, weird. The other day I was <laughs> recording something or actually taking a picture and I had my finger on the camera and I was wondering why the whole screen was dark. Yep, that's me. <laughs> oh god, but I feel... wait, is there something that's tickling here? God, but it feels so good, guys. When I touch my arms, I can feel my muscles underneath again. Oh, I just love that feeling. And the first time, of course, I was there, I nearly overdid it again because I was trying to go from zero to a thousand percent instead of taking it slow. So, of course, I hurt my shoulder again. I hurt my shoulder once a couple of years ago when, you know, pulling... Ow! Oh, I scratched my... Pulling the, the... What is it called? You know, where you pull down for the lat... Latissimus? Let me see. Can you... Uh, Ugh, there it is. Ugh. <laughs> oh well, it's it's still small, but it's it's kind of it's moving again. <sighs> oh God, there's this one dude. There's this one dude at the gym. He's got a body. Oh God, damn it. That's a mm, mm, beautiful body. Yeah, great. Of course my camera turned off. <laughs> when I was talking about this cute dude with a hot body, because he has a latissimus like, holy shit, you know, he's slim in the, in his waist, and then it goes up, and his shoulders are wide, and uh, he's hot like hell, but probably 20 years younger, so, yeah, hmm. I, I peek over sometimes though when he's working out at the same time with me. I'm always happy to see him. <laughs> but I would never approach him. Or film him. Or ogle him like crazy. I've seen these videos about women complaining about guys looking at them at the gym. Well, I don't know. Where's... Where, it's normal people look at each other. And damn, if there's a hot dude or even a hot chick with a beautiful body, even I look at her. I'm not into women, right? But it's nice to look at a nice body. And maybe, I don't know, if you don't want people to look at you, maybe you shouldn't be working out practically naked. You know, these scantily clad girls. <sighs> what do you expect? Of course people will look at you. Dumbasses? You know, I wear long sweatpants, uh, like, like, they're not, they're not, I, I don't wear these, these kind of clothes where you can see everything, like these, uh, what are they called, the, uh, the, these horrible leggings, leggings, Jesus, back in my days when I was young, you would wear leggings under skirts or pants. Or if, because if it was cold, or just because you don't didn't want to be as naked, so you would wear these leggings and then you would wear a skirt over them. Sometimes when I see girls nowadays, it's like when I see them on the street or even the, at the gym. Although my gym isn't as bad, 
but they also they have the leggings and a bra and I think like girl you forgot to dress yourself why are you walking around in your underwear but yeah you gotta expect to be old if you look like that if you don't want to be gawked at just wear something normal like a t-shirt And it's really, really, really mean of them to record, guys. Why would you record anything at the gym? If you want to show off... Okay, fine, yeah, I mean, ugh. If you want to show off, then show off, but... Don't pull other people into your business and shit. I mean, there's this one dude at the gym, I have a feeling he's looking at me all the time. Could be, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I am looking for a man, but I, I think it's a bad idea to look for him at the gym. Unless you, unless you get together and get married and everything is fine, because if it doesn't work out, you're going to be seeing him at the gym all the time. I made that experience once, and uh, it's not cool. <laughs> I, uh, I had a crush on this dude in my old gym, we started hanging out, and uh, oh god, I thought he was into me as I was into him. He wasn't. And uh, in, the, in the end, I was really glad my gym was closing, because I wouldn't be able to see him anymore. Because it was really uncomfortable meeting him. So, yeah, whatever. <sighs> yeah, I think I got everything out now. I know this video is, in a way, it's a, more of a mess than the last one. I mean, at least I didn't start crying. Or I had to talk about death all the time. Although, there, there was one more, one more case. One of my parents' friends died four or five weeks or six weeks ago, and I had known him too ever since I was a kid. He was actually one of my former teacher's husband. You know, I had his wife in, in, I think in seventh grade in French. Yeah, and uh, he was her husband, and he had Parkinson's and... Of course, my mom was really devastated, too, and she couldn't go to the funeral. She didn't want to because, you know, shit with my dad is still so fresh and everything. And I can understand. I also cried a bit for him because I liked him. I knew him, you know, and uh, I really liked my teacher. But apart from that, for now... The dying has kind of stopped or taken a break, whatever. I'm not concentrating on that currently. As I said, I think about my gym all the time when I feel down. I just concentrate on the gym. I think about my gym, trying to find a way to go to the gym every day. You know, maybe, or at least during the week, maybe do cardio on Tuesdays and Thursdays because that's what I've been skipping so far. <laughs> I don't know if that's a general thing or just a German thing about the skipping leg day. I skip cardio. I hate cardio. But I should start with it again. The other day, I was I think last, last week Saturday, I was out in the woods. And while I was on my way home, all of a sudden, this uh, thunderstorm started. And uh, I still had a couple hundred meters to go when it started raining so I started running <laughs> I ran for what 30 seconds and then I uh, yeah I was ready to you know keel over and suffocate because I couldn't breathe but by that time I was drenched anyway so I figured oh well might as well just walk home casually like I did before <laughs> no need to run God, now I feel good having done this video again. It's, be it's 
been becoming a bit of a load on my chest. You know, I wanted to talk to you, but I didn't want to do it at home. I'll be making enough, more than enough videos back at home again. Especially once winter comes. I'm terrified of winter. I'm so terrified of the darkness and whatever else is going to come. Whether we can keep the house or not. I have, to, I have to find a way to make so much money to pay off my parents' debt. On the other hand, it's, I also think it's time to move on. It's more than, you know, more than time to move on and... <sighs> Never mind, that's a whole other topic. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm still hoping for a miracle. But yeah, the gym. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The gym. I love the gym. My mind is infinite. I think and grow rich. The gym is my religion. I pray on the bench. And I can just advise anyone go to the gym. Especially if you're depressed. I just thought it went out again. You know, there's nothing better uh, than going to the gym on a day when you're really tired and depressed and you feel like shit and you just want to hide away. You just want to crawl into this little hole and never come back out again. Go to the gym. Throw those irons around. <laughs> and just... Uh, Without my muscles shaking like a vibrating bass drum, I'm violating. If I ain't aching and sore, the next day I feel cheated. Like a fiend fiend in my workout, I need it. Get your blood pumping, get your muscles, you know, uh, make them shake. Just go push yourself, go all the way until your body is one shaking mass. And then crawl home on all, all fours. But once you're at home, or even right afterwards while you're still in the shower you'll feel so good you come to the gym you got to pay your dues the body get weak if the body don't move you get this adrenaline rush like oh yes i did it i did it you know and i always tell people the handful of people i've been talking to i also met two of the employees you know that i of the the gym that i don't know yet one of them he's really sweet he's also he's really really young I was, I don't know, 22, 23, and he's really enthusiastic, he's always smiling, and it's like, hey, Anya, how are ya? And, uh, yeah, it's really just fun to talk to him, and what did I want to say? Yeah, oh yeah, right, I always tell everyone that even if I work out with one kilogram, I don't care, just as long as I work out. I'm loving my training, I'm always on it, cause I'm building up the body that I always wanted. And that's, 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 yeah, that's the message I'm giving you, or give, give that message to anyone you know who feels down in the dumps, who's depressed, who's, who feels weak, who's struggling, suffering, whatever. Go to the gym. My everyday struggle got me slacking on my fitness. I hear my inner voice saying, get back to business. Get back in the gym. Get back on the bars. I can get it in anywhere. The world is my yard. Work out. And if you can't do that yet, for whatever reason, start small, baby steps. Go for a walk. Just go for a walk. And if it's, if it's five minutes, if you go around the block once. And then expand slowly. If you're scared, look, I, I know how it is. I've... I've battled myself through life fearing so many things i fearing people fearing situations fearing having to do shit look at this it says Seelenkrieger, right that says that's soul warrior in german i'm fighting i've been fighting for my soul for my life my spirit my everything 
for as long as I can think, I'm never gonna give up. Me, I push up, I dip, I squat and I lift. The world's on my shoulders and I can't lose my grip. You know, I've talked a lot about the S U I C I D S U I C I D a lot, but if I talk about it, I vent through that. I'm not gonna do it. At least I don't want to. I want to, but I don't want to because. I'll be a loser then, right? A wise king gotta take care of his kingdom. I live for the burn, want it hotter than big ones. That burn is my bliss when I'm stressed and I'm tense. When I'm locked in my zone, nothing else don't exist. I'm a qu I'll be a quitter. I've quit a lot of things, and sure, I'm a quitter, I'm a coward, I'm a loser, I'm a failure. But I'm not giving up like that. I'm gonna keep on fighting until shit's good again. Quitters never win, a winner never quits. The burn is just weakness, transform the strength. When times get hard, I go harder, think smarter. Bruce Lee said, be like water. Life is up and down, up and down, up and down. That's just how life is. So, change something. If you feel like shit, change something. Sometimes make us tougher. My mama ain't raised no sucker. I ain't scared of no struggle. I love to let it burn. Push it out, burn. Make it count, burn. Get it in, burn. Discipline burn, squeeze it out, burn, breathe it out, feel that burn. You want to get what you burn, let it burn. Only you can do that. As I said, I talked to my gym friend the other day. We, we talked for nearly an hour. I was finished with my stuff, and <laughs> for him, he still had to go, and then the, it was close to closing time, so he had to hurry. But I told him a lot of my problems, and he what did he say at the end? He's like, yeah, the thing is, only you can change that. I'm like, fuck you, yeah, I know that, <laughs> you know. Of course I want some, I don't know, some angel, some god, some person to come and solve all my problems, but life doesn't work like that. The only person who can change something is me. And I did the first step again by going back to the gym, working out, Starting to meet new people. I find it so hard to say hi to people sometimes. I don't know if it's if it's just the, the young people nowadays. You look at them and they look at you like... Like, why are you looking at me, you know? It's normal to look at people when you come inside a place, right? You look at them and you say hi. And they look at you and then... Sure, I don't always say hi. <laughs> Not anymore, but usually I come in and I'll say hi if you look at me, and they just turn away. I'm like, excuse me, you could at least say hi. But then most of the time, the second or third time or later, they, you know, our glances meet again, and and they'll smile or nod or do something. So, I mean, I know everyone's fucked up nowadays, especially young people. <laughs> I mean, there's there was there's this one lady at my gym. She's even not that young anymore, so she's a bad example when I talk about young people now. <laughs> but there was this other young girl too, and she's just, she's on, they both are, they're on just on their fucking cell phone the whole damn time. And I, I was just wondering, like, why do you come to the gym? You know, it's like such a nuisance to, to do these exercises between messing around on the phone. Just stay at home. <laughs> but then, yeah, that's just me again being nasty <laughs> judging people I started judging people so hard I just spit it <laughs> I started judging people so hard these last three years because I'm so angry and, and ugh, it's so annoying I hate judging people it's so useless dude just you know I, I come from a time where people used to say just live and let live or you just you do you and all these sayings but then if you look at people today uh, I don't want to get into that whole topic again in case YouTube wants to <laughs> ban me again and shit. But the, the whole Sound of Freedom topic, the way the media is treating it, like, wow. I don't even know why I'm still surprised, but I am. I'm shocked. Like, wow. I wonder if that film will make it over to Germany, if it'll ever be shown here. I, I'm not sure I want to see it, because I've seen enough on that topic. I've 
Jeez, that whole topic. That's why I'm so angry about it all the time, right? I have seen so much shit on that topic. It just it hurts me inside. The the P E D O topic is It's not that I haven't made my own experience as a kid, right? It was just once. But it was an experience. Yeah. That's why I'm so emotional about it. I mean, sure, you can be emotional about it without having made those experiences. But that's why I'm so angry about it. And that's why I took it so damn personal when YouTube kicked me off for being a predator. Yeah, right. Great. I ventured off into a topic I did not want to talk about. Yeah, never mind. I've been talking for a long time now. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit shit together. <laughs> oh, talk about editing. Um, another reason I've been so absent. I started another YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm betraying you guys. But um, it's in German. I don't know why I had to, I I just I woke up this morning and uh, got myself a gun. No, I didn't. <laughs> that pop that that pop that song just popped into my head. I woke up one morning and I had this. You have to do this. And I started this German YouTube channel, and it terrifies the shit out of me. I don't know why. I can't do it in English. It's easier for me. In German, I don't know. I mean, it's just you can't see my face. It's just I make videos on random knowledge. Because I love knowledge. I love knowing shit. It's basically random and useless knowledge. But it's fun. And I also do quizzes. As I said, I need a fucking miracle to earn a lot of money quick. And as long as I can't work because of my stomach shit issues. and, and No, not stomach. It, my intestine shit issues. I need to find another way. If I do, the thing is, if I do get my intestines fixed, I'm going to go out... I'm going to have to go out and find a job, and that scares the shit out of me even more, because I've been out of work for a long time, and I hate, I hate having to bend to other people's times and rules, and I fucking hate authority. That's a whole other topic of me being traumatized as a kid. I hate authority and, and having to bow down to anyone else. <sighs> yeah, well, never mind. But that other channel is, yeah, one whole cha challenge of its own. And it takes a long time to make these videos. Ugh. And I really miss making gaming videos. I've been thinking a lot about whether I should um, replay Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I love that game. I've played it three times, I think. Wait, I played as a Tremere. I played as a, um... What was the second time I played it? The, the, the wolf thingy where you can transform. I forgot what it's called. Sorry. I played as a Malkavian. And I think I just started it. I started it a fourth Oh god, it's 20 minutes again. This is gonna be so damn long. But, you know, better replay something than do nothing at all. I don't know. I have the soundtrack on my phone, right? So whenever... And the, the main theme keeps coming up so often and often. So I want to go back to that game. 
but I don't have it installed on my computer because I, I have it installed on my laptop because I, I have the, the CD actually, but the, I got that from a friend 10 years ago, but the CD is so scratched up, my computer won't read it. I've tried installing it multiple times and then it'll just keep spinning, spinning, spinning and nothing happens. The installation is like this much and then it just stops for hours. It just keeps spinning and nothing moves and changes. So I guess I would have to buy the game. Of course I missed the Steam Summer Sale. Maybe I could have gotten it with, with, a, um, with a little bit off off the price because even it's just what I think is 20 euro that's that's 20 euro that'll buy me a whole week of meat you know Ugh. I'll see I, I have to I have to find my rhythm I mean now the, the only uh, no not the only but the, the biggest problem is the sleep issue I waste so much time lying in bed trying to fall asleep. I should get up and do something, but you know, I'm tired then, you know? I'm tired, exhausted. At some point I get really aggressive. I just want to tear everything down because I just want to fucking sleep. You know, I start screaming and yelling like body or head. Is it too much to ask to fall asleep? I just want to fucking sleep. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. So far, I've always figured it out. Sometimes it took years to figure shit out, but I've always figured it out. I'll find a way. Life always finds a way. No, wait, that was Jurassic Park. <laughs> should I stop now, or should I go on for another eight minutes and just, you know, fuck it? Either you watch it or you don't. Why do I care? <laughs> I haven't talked to you guys for such a long time, and I'm in a really talkative mood right now. I don't even know what time it is. But the sun is slowly setting over there. At least I got a little sun again. Getting rid of that horrible computer tan. <laughs> you know, the, my dad always... When I... I don't tan. I mean, I, I don't really tan that easily. I either burn, or I'm just horribly uh, pale and shit but then sometimes when I get a tan back in the days I used to show my dad like look dad I got a tan you know I'm really dark <laughs> like you know uh, dark I don't think you can see it but I got a little tan and he would always laugh at me and said yeah you're you're tanned like a bucket of milk <laughs> oh, I miss my dad but oh well <sighs> that's life and death is part of life right <sighs> no I'm not gonna start crying now <laughs> I managed to not cry in this video I'm not gonna start now oh god I think I'll still take a little walk hey guys it's me again my last recording for today I was just walking across the meadow here barefoot get some grounding done I just decided to put my shoes back on and guess what guess what happened my last step you see it here I don't know how to zoom I stepped on this poor little bee I stepped on a bee <laughs> and it stung me right in my foot my last fucking step. I removed the... Yeah, never mind. I'm not going to show my feet. <laughs> I removed the stinger. Let me see. It's still... Where's my hair? Can you see it? That was the last little bit. Oh, okay. That's interesting. How did that just happen? And, uh, yeah. <sighs> I feel so sorry for the poor bee because I had not intended to step on it. Does it, crap, now I can't get the stupid stinger on my nail. <laughs> you know, I feel so sorry for it because I know it's going to die. And there's a slug right next to it. Uh, that was the, only the second time I've ever been stung by a bee. I've been stung by wasps multiple times. Both hurts like shit. Good thing I'm not allergic. 
because I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere here. <laughs> Not a good place to be having an anaphylactic shock. <sighs> oh no, I just remembered my legs hurt. <sighs> and my butt. Oh, and I've been sitting on this wooden bench here, which did not make it better. <clears throat> but yeah, it it just it feels good. My body is sore from working out. No pain, no gain. That's the mantra. I'm in the lab chiseling, creating a monster. A lot of sweat, a lot of hard, whole lot of discipline, a lot of hours going in, a lot of conditioning. I, I also have the the perfect songs, or, yeah, song songs, two songs that I really love that I'll put snippets in. <laughs> Always trying to see are my muscles, but do I? I had such beautiful shoulders, such beautifully defined shoulders. And the only thing I really hate is the flab down here, but that was I was fat. Right? I have torn skin here. You can see the, 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 like, they're like the birthmarks. I, I don't, we call them birthmarks, although they're not birthmarks here. But, you know, when women get pregnant and their belly gets big and then the skin tears and you have these, these reddish, purplish marks. I used to have that here. I also have that on my thighs because I, I got fat. But you can also get it from too fast muscle growth, though. I've heard guys talk about it that they've also had it here on their arms but they have the big muscles and I just have flab here <laughs> but then hey, I'm a couple of years older so I I, th I think I have an okay body for my age and I, I love my body that's the motto of my gym you know love your body he, he has the, the owner put it up in big letters love your body and he has these motivational uh, little phrases on the wall and I like that I really like that so guys go to the gym work out get fit or if you don't want to go to the gym I don't know go swimming or go ride a bicycle or just go hiking just do something or do gymnastics or work out with a uh, with poi I, that, that, that's what I did years ago you know sock poise I would swing them around and shit I, I love that that was fun. Just do something. Get your body going. Get your body going. Just, you know. Oh, I miss that, that so much. Four more minutes. I keep doing that thingy again. Hope it doesn't annoy anyone. It sometimes annoys me. But, yeah, who cares? I'm annoyed by so many things. <laughs> yeah, I think I've said everything now. <sighs> you guys, if you actually listen to this whole thing, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I, I, I'm always looking at the screen. I know I'm supposed to look at the camera, but it's just this little spot there. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you didn't watch it, that's fine, too. I hope you're all doing good. Whatever you're dealing with, never, ever give up. It's not worth it. Just keep fighting, keep pushing. Just, yeah, keep doing shit for you to survive and just push through and... Things will change. They always do. That's the only thing that's certain in life. Change and death. Those are two things that will always happen. And if you don't initiate the change yourself, it's it might not be cool, you know. You might not like the change you're getting. I'm talking from a lot of experience. Because <laughs> I used to hate change. I still kind of do, but I also love change. Change is hard, but what's what is good that's not worth fighting for? That's you know. Never mind. Before I go off rambling again, I think I have said everything I want. 
There's an insect on the phone. I was just wondering, like, what what is there on my in my face? <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you very much for listening. If you did, if you didn't, that's okay too. Have a great day or a great night. I wish you all the best. Just keep fighting, keep going. Go to the gym. <laughs> eat eat right too. I'm ugh, shit. That's what I forgot earlier, right? Because I'm I'm still off the refined sugar, and I've reduced my um, my fruit intake as well. Probably because the other day I had a banana that was oh, very disgusting. It had laid a little too long in my kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, no more bananas currently. Apples, bad tasting apples. I don't know why, they all taste bland, but oh well. And grapes. Grapes are cool. And a lot of arugula, I think that's what it's called in English when I eat my meat. I still haven't gotten off the rice, I just love rice, I grew up with rice, I, it's, oh, I love rice, man. <laughs> but I, I try to reduce it a little, just to get get off the carbs but oh well yeah now I'm not gonna start again with the goodbyes I already did that oh see there you go 30 30 minutes 16 seconds well 20 now yeah thanks guys take care of yourselves I have no clue when I'll be back I will be back definitely Hopefully soon, maybe not so soon, I can't say, but I will be back, so, uh, yeah. Have a great summer. <laughs> no, I don't know if I'll be, <laughs> never mind. Just try to make the best of everything. Enjoy what you got. You might lose it <laughs> sooner than you think. Oh, that was so depressing again, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't find an end. No, guys, I have to go. My butt hurts from sitting here. Oh, hey. Are there no... I just saw a mosquito. For some strange reason, the last times I've been to the woods, I didn't get any mosquito, but... Yeah, my camera decided to end it. <laughs> I have no clue what it recorded and what not. I was just blabbing on. But, yeah, never mind. I just wanted to say one last time, have a great day or a great night and take care you guys. Bye. Alright, me once more. I don't know if you can see it. Do you see the spider here? Yep, it's small. You see the spider sitting in the big web? That's what I just walked into. Great, and I squeaked, not squeaked, I screamed. <laughs> <sighs> but oh well. Can you see ya yeah, there? That's me again. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. I hope I can make it home without walking into more spider webs and forgetting shit and doing whatever. Having fingers on the camera. There's, I think maybe I should clean the lens or something. Well, alright. Just wanted to... I mean, I'm like everyone now, right? I have a smartphone. And I can record fucking everything, and, uh, well, I mean, mm, there's no, no, uh, active card in the phone, so I can't, like, post it immediately, but I can, ugh, it's moving. I can work on it, on the, I, I can, you know, the, throw it on the computer and work on it there, and yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I just keep blabbing now. <laughs> I'm gonna be like... These horrible people who walk around everywhere with their phone in their hand while they're walking. Oh, look at it. Wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to force you through this now. That was it. Goodbye. Oh, gotta learn how to take the mind to another plane. Higher than the pain. Since the reason the brain is mine. Over matter. No struggle. No muscle. No quitting. No giving up. Tough it out. Suck it up.